myself and those who are standing here and sitting here, we are in the same profession actually. Same profession and same job. What you are doing, I am also doing the same job. I am not saying this is something incredible or outstanding story what I did. It's part of our profession. We have to expose such kind of a guys. That I did. Because whatever I do the story, I will go for the... Whatever the story I will do, go for the merit. And both sides. So finally, I so all the story I will come into the conclusion. Is it this story I can present it or not? That is a part of you people also doing, myself also doing. So I worked around uh, uh, 23 years of uh, experience in journalism. Worked various national media as part of my job. Make it clear, I'm not a highly educated guy. So you can say, I'm an anti-establishment. That's I'm right. You can say, I'm an anti-establishment. Because I always going, those who are in the power and those who are in the fastest force. So I'm behind them. So that is my primary agenda. And I believe fourth estate in India having a solid and big platform that our forefathers given to us, our founding members of our nation. So we are the fourth pillar having our own, our own responsibility. We have to show it the, what actually the metal we have. So this is what I did. It is not like that those who are in the power. If it is Modi's police or Palanisami's police, police is doing their job not like that a bootlickers. That only I have a, a symbol request to them. Anyway, you people can ask whatever question you wanted to ask, ask me. I am willing to answer. I don't have any issue. And also those, both Sayan and Manoj, those who are in Kerala, and some of the journalists from here, they wanted to go and meet them. I allow them. You can go and meet them whatever question you can ask because it was not two third. It was purely what actually they told me. I did my investigation. I got a lot of links and and uh, because of the link one by one by one by and the lead I got it. Then the story came out. So that actually happened. The question I wanted to ask Mr. Palanisamy Around, it's more than 10 days or 10, 11 days because the question I put it across him, the five murder, he is not given the answer. He said this party behind, that party behind. Make it clear. No one is behind me. I am alone. And of course, you people are with me. He is not even given the answer so far. Again, I put across the question to him. Who is behind the robbery there? For what purpose you did? For the documents. He is not given the answer so far. And five murder, one by one by one. He is not given the answer so far. It's only a truth. So we are also working for the truth. That is our journalism actually we are doing. It is not a PR journalism. It's a proper research based material. We put it across them. They have to answer it. And people of India, people of special people, Tamil Nadu wanted to know who is the one who behind this. So this is actually I, I did. Till today, I am again saying killer Palanisami is not answer the question. Let him answer it. Who is behind? Make it clear I am not scared to come over here. I am free to travel. It's our job. We have to do. I did also the same thing. And 2001, the Helka case, you know, it was against the central government, Vashpay government. Many such kind of things came out, and Congress was behind, and this case was behind. Reality is, no one behind, it was a journalistic <coughs> exercise. Then I did the story on Robert Vadera. 
You might be knowing in 2014, the story came, came up because of his uh, asset and property and all these things. That time Congress said, BJP is behind. And 2016, I did a story in Narada Sting Operation, um, West Bengal. Mamata Banerjee said, BJP is behind. Now the Honorable Killer Palanisami is saying, DMK is behind. I am really shocking. Who is behind me? The reality, you can also go reality check. What exactly all these things? You can ask a question. Sir, you have any yeah. evidence or video evidence? I have uh, certain evidence because uh, some of the people given interview, but uh, they have a uh, lot of restrictions. Those people, those people are given the interview. They told not to release their interview right now. Because they are... It's a material, material, it's a, it's a material, they have a material evidence with the interview I do have because they, they are part of uh, uh, this uh, uh, investigation and uh, some of those uh, senior doctors, uh, those who worked, uh, uh, those who are part of Jainaladas, uh, Apollo and uh, uh, very long time, I do have their interview also, the senior doctors, they are also told not right now. Because everyone is scared. So because that is a journalistical ethics also there. Because it's not a sting operation. Listen, I least bothered about any life threat or anything. But they do have a big issue. Because they're scared. They're scared because I try to talk to them last two, three days. Then I try to convince them. So now they are, I think, around uh, uh, 70, 60 percent they agreed. They are supposed to come with me here. So they told me that they can also come here. But they are scared now. The family members are insisting them not to do right now. So that actually the reason. Sir, did anyone yes. from the Air Indian Party contact you after the giving uh, of the government? No. No AADMK, nothing. Again, I want to say one thing. This, so I was a... Uh, SIT head, Special Investigating Team head of uh, India Head News Channel that is owned by Andhra Prabha Group. It's, a, it's an English channel actually. And uh, I completed the story around uh, 19th of December. I submitted the story to the editorial team and make it clear. And two of them, Sayan and Manoj, both were, then I took them to Delhi. They are staying with me. Then I ask management every day, what you are going to do? Why you are not giving a telecast date? They are saying two days, three days, four days. So they are also started scared. Then after I have a team, because of the team I formed for this uh, channel. Then I discuss with my ch this guy, my team members, so Jimmy also sitting here. So they said, we cannot go such kind of a long this thing. <laughs> Because anything can happen, because we did all this uh, roaming around myself and Jibin in Ch Chennai and all this thing. It possibly can leak it. So we cannot go such kind of a long time. Make it clear, we have to release the story. That I put my resignation a day before my press conference happened, and I did. And 2014 also, I did same story for Tehelka, Narada Sting operation. And KD Singh, the management guy, because I am the one who was replaced Tarun Tejpal, because you might be knowing the sexual assault case. So after that, he was removed, so I become the editor of Tehelka. Then I did the story because the revival of Tehelka in 2014. Again, same thing happened. The management not willing to uh, go for the story. Then I decided to come out. A press conference have formed a small website, Narada News, because putting a uh, platform. So I did the story. This is the history, actually. Mr. you are saying DMK is not behind you, but the advocates who argued for Sayan and the people who signed in the bail petition, they all belong to DMK. So how can you say that DMK is not behind you? I can say one thing, because the same two days before, when the, these people are supposed to come over here, I tried to call 
my friends here and there, you can come and verify my call records. Around 50, 55 calls, I'm talking to my friends through Delhi, one of the lawyer. Because some of them, some of them wanted to help me out. But meanwhile, everyone is not willing. Then finally, my lawyer told me that he will arrange someone to arrange here for the surety guarantee. So I paid the money. That also I will show you because it's an online payment. I did. Okay. I don't know. He's a DMK, ADMK, BJP, anyone. At that time, I needed two guys to give the surety both of them. I cannot make it like that. What kind of a... Um, he was this, he was that, what kind of... This is all the rubbish, actually. Make it clear. Yeah. No, this is actually what I told you, because actually these are the five, seven people they wanted to come out. Five, seven people, those who are associated with investigation and Jayalada's demise and all these things. So that actually they have to, they have to say, okay, now they can, we can go. Then say, I am not a doctor, I am a journalist. But technically, all these things, scientifically, how it, what happened? in Jayalada's demise, they can give a in brief narration. So they can give authenticate nar narration. I cannot give like that. But they but they wanted to come out. But they are a little scared. That's the reason. So you say there's a, a human evidence. I mean, people who give statements as, uh, as proof or evidence. Yes, that some of the... Like, uh, some, uh, some, or, uh, some of the Some of the investigating officers the footage also we do have. Do you think Sasikila has a hands on it? Listen, first of all, make it clear. As like a journalist, what we can do only to come out with the material what we have. The further Sasikila or Dinagaran or uh, Palanisami or um, uh, EPS, that investigating, fair investigating agency can only reveal it. I am not ruling out anything. So they can only reveal it further because we have a lot of limitation. We cannot go and interrogate or go inside and do all these things. Lot of limitation we have. In that limitation, so uh, come out, comes out, and let investigating agency have to reveal. That time I can give much more leads. Some of the leads, if I can say in the media, it is not. It is not good actually. <coughs> it's not good actually. Because that time only that I can give a lot of things. That's the reason I say always saying free and fair investigation. Much more things will come out. Let it open the box. That's only I said. Sir, what do you say about the Again, I am saying I interact with many those guys. It is actually a pre-scripted commission. It's a stage-managed commission. One of the senior two, three people told me on uh, private interaction, before the parliament election, some kind of a report will come. And it will blame both of them. Both of them and Dinagar, both of the book. It's a blame game will come. Again, escapism. Blaming someone Sorry. away from the... Blaming someone away from the truth. No, that actually happening in politics now. Nah. Say they are using the tool and and um, hitting them. That's a reality. Which one? Myself. Yeah. I am not supporting Shashigala or TTV. I am not supporting anyone. I said, I am not supporting anyone. It's not my part. I, su I support my story. And who is supporting my story? I will support. Because my story having a depth. So why did that get into the commission? No, the, uh, of course, the commission will summon me. 
I will go, but I am not even have any faith in this commission. The commission also, some of the doctors deposed, they also given the idea what kind of a commission looking. It, listen, boss, listen, all these things, it's just pre-scripted. Before the commission coming, the report is, they make the report, this is going to come. So I appeared many commission, Justice Vengar Swami commission, Justice Fukan commission. So I knew what exactly happened in the commission. So commission of inquiry, this Arubukhan commission is a pre-scripted. I think uh, I answered uh, your questions. I think it is enough. I'm not getting. But 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 what is the Okay, this is uh, interesting. That is uh, another one, Banana Republic uh, FIR, because I was instigated by riot. That is the case. They put it on uh, Egbor Court. Riot means I I so I instigated by riot. And there is not a single stone pelter happen anywhere in that time, that day. So it is actually a rubbish. So I think I'm moving to the High Court for quashing the case. Let's see how it is going to happen. Okay, fine, na? Thank you.